And this is a special edition of Outfront where we are following the breaking news. Hurricane Milton making landfall. Live pictures this of heavy rainfall in Bradenton on your screen. Lieutenant Colonel Mark Withy joins me now, Air Force hurricane hunter who just flew through the storm. And Colonel, uh, let me just show some of the incredible video that you just filmed while you were up there. What, what did you see up close? Uh, well, what we saw was a, a very powerful storm. Uh, obviously, the pressures uh, have been rising in the center, uh, with, so the storm has been uh, decreasing off some of those peak intensities, but it's also expanding the wind field, so it's very large, uh, very, still very powerful storm. Fortunately, it, it's less intense than it was, but it's still big and been heading for Tampa. How did it compare just in this last fly through to many of the other storms you've been through? Uh, well, th this has certainly a, been a very unique storm in that it, it, uh, it spun up to, uh, to extremely high uh, levels uh, in very short notice and, and has gone through several fluctuations. Uh, certainly, it's in a, a, a very high-end class of storm uh, with it, its intensification. Uh, fortunately, it has weakened some, but it's still bringing a, a, a lot of that energy into shore. You know, we were talking about how there had been, a, you know, a drone footage a little bit out, uh, you know, and I know you saw this of, of close to 30 foot waves. And that was, you know, miles out from the eye wall. You know, what is, what is it like when you're up there and you sort of were able to look down and see the power of a storm like this when it's out in the open ocean or in the open gulf, as it was in this case, to see waves like that? Well, it is, it's very uh, impressive to see the power of these storms to, to generate those, those waves. Oftentimes, we, when we're in the, uh, going through the inner bands of the storm, we can't actually see the surface. But, but out at the, the periphery, we can still see those enormous waves that are being generated. And then even once we're in the eye and can see the surface, you still see those, those, those very large waves that are coming. It's, as hurricane hunters, we, we are kind of in a unique position because we can see the the storm from a uh, from the the air, and we're also uh, not being directly affected uh, by by it like those folks on the ground. So it's a very unique and 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 special perspective that we have um, when we're out there flying to gather the data for the National Hurricane Center. Well, the data that makes all the difference for people on the ground, but as you said, so unique and special. And Colonel, I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. As that uh, eye wall is hitting land on the coast of Florida, you have heard every official, every meteorologist talk about this storm, how historic it is, and that sur storm surge that Florida is facing right now, that those waters are rising as we speak. The scale hard to imagine. One official describing it as the ocean coming into your living room. Well, that gives you an image, but what is it? Our Jason Carroll has an incredible demonstration of it. So just what are we about to see, Jason? Aaron, I know it can be hard to imagine. So we want to visualize for you here in the studio with graphics just what the impact will look like if you were caught in that catastrophic stor storm surge that you've been hearing so much about. We want to raise the graphic water graphic to just three feet. Doesn't sound like a lot, but it's certainly enough to take you off your feet, certainly enough to move a parked car and to move much of that debris we've seen on the ground from Hurricane Aline. Now we're going to double it. The water graphic now at six feet. Now, when you think about six feet of storm surge, in combination with the wind, the wind is predicted to top 100 miles per hour. Now we're going to bring it up to 10 feet. Imagine 10 feet and you're living in one of those single-story homes there in Florida. Your only course of action under this type of condition might be to get on your roof and hold on and hope that someone can come and save you. This is why emergency officials have been saying for so long, for so many days, to get out. Because under this type of dire situation, these type of dire predictions, your chances of survival are very, very low. Aaron. All right, Jason, thank you very much. Very low. And just to think about that North Carolina family, they did get to their roof, right? And the mother had to watch her child die uh, a, a, as that child was taken away by the floodwaters. Boris Sanchez is in Tampa. Uh, that rare extreme wind warning already, in fact, catastrophic flooding happening already. Boris, uh, in areas near you, what are you seeing? Yeah, Aaron, we actually had to move the previous position that we were in less than an hour ago. It was right on the coast with Tampa Bay, and it was just way, way too intense. The, the rain was just coming sideways at us. The waves were getting closer and closer. So we moved to an area further inland, and this is just Tampa proper, just outside where the bay is uh, by a, a couple of miles or so. 
the wind here is picking up. The rain is also coming down. We've seen about six inches uh, of rain since this storm started coming in. That is expected to uh, accumulate up to five to eight inches more. So we will almost certainly see flooding in the Tampa Bay area. Uh, and on top of that, obviously, we're talking about the storm surge for coastal areas. It's predicted to be anywhere between 8 to 12 feet. We already started seeing, as I noted before, some of those waves uh, coming in. In this part of the neighborhood, things are relatively quiet. We saw some uh, residents walking through the neighborhood, obviously going against what officials have been suggesting, that folks shelter in place and stay inside. As you can see behind me, several of these businesses have been boarded up. I'm seeing sandbags as well. It, it is just starting to create serious problems here in Tampa. There were streets that were difficult to access as we were driving away from the location where we were er earlier. I imagine that as this rain picks up, as officials have said, again, five to eight inches before uh, this all wraps up, in addition to what's already uh, come down, it is going to be a very difficult situation for folks that have decided uh, to shelter in place, especially in those evacuation zones. We'll keep you posted on the very latest as we get it, Aaron. All right, and of course, as you are watching that happening, and we should let our, our viewers know that already as that eye wall has started to come on shore, there are many places already saying that there will be no response. If you call 911, they are already unable to send any emergency responders out uh, as this eye wall has hit uh, land in these next few hours. So catastrophic for Florida. 